All right, Prosper, I'm going to give you a series of videos that will show you how to get started, okay? So get yourself a golf club. Do this indoors. If you can get a foam rubber golf ball, those are real nice, a little foam rubber one. So how do you hold the club? How do you stand? So just uh, hold the toe. See this is the toe? Hold the toe up with your thumb on the top like this. It's very simple. Then just bring your right hand over, okay? If you want, you can interlock the grip. But we'll get into the nuances of the grip later. But just, you know, you can, you can, you know, wiggle it around comfortably. Wiggle it around. Just be comfortable with it, okay? So that's the grip. Stance. Hold the club straight up. Straight lock your knees. Straight up, okay? Keep your knees locked. And now bend over at the waist. And now flex your knees, okay? Straight. Bend over, and then just flex your knees. Got to put you in the right position. See, my back is not too, too hunched over. I'm not overly squatted. My back isn't too straight. I'm not overly squatted. All right? That's your basics. All right, here's your second lesson. Again, do this indoors. And then no one will teach the game like this, but I'm going to go straight to this. I think it's the first thing you need to understand, okay? Cross your arms like this. Get in that stance we talked about. Cross your arms like this and turn your shoulders all the way. And then your, your left shoulder is going to be in your purple vision under your chin. And then turn your right shoulder under your chin. Okay? Do that. What you just did is the perfect golf swing. The golf swing gets complicated when the hands get involved. Okay? So do this. Now. Go to the back, and all I want you to do is release the arms, okay? That's where your arms should be, likewise. And to follow through after you hit the ball, that's where the hands should be, okay? Feel that. And then you can do it with a club. you do that, you're going to be instant. Step three, again, do this indoors. We haven't hit a golf ball yet. Notice that we have not hit a golf ball yet. How to get a backswing. This is the hardest part for golfers. They have these ugly, ugly backswings. First, we understand the shoulders. Remember this, this, all this stuff. So, in your right posture, your shoulders, the first thing you're going to do do you bring this club back with your hands? Are you thinking about your hands? What? Okay, no. I want you to think about turning the shoulders and the hands will just go where they want to go. Forget about the hands, okay? So all you're gonna do is you're gonna turn the shoulder so that your left shoulder is under your chin, okay? Now, I'm gonna get into this in the second segment, but your pelvis you got to understand what your pelvis does too, but you get, we'll talk about that later. But right now, just focus on turning the shoulders. This much now, your shoulders have turned, all they can turn, you get up here. How do you get up here? Turn your shoulders, now it's wrists, okay? From here to here, I want you to flex your left, I want you to curl, feel like you're curling. I want you to flex the left wrist, cock the right wrist, lift the right elbow. This is what you do for a living. Right here. Now, wrist and elbow. Boom. See that? Turn with the shoulders so you can't turn anymore. Then wrist and elbow. All right? I just took a dose of my own medicine, and this is very interesting. This is why I'm telling you to do certain things, okay? Let's backtrack. Jack Nicholas a few months ago was giving a lesson to Gary Player, the greatest people, and it was it was caught on camera. It wasn't intended to be, you know, recorded. And he was telling uh, Gary Player to remember to turn his shoulder all the way and stuff. Okay, I was out there hitting four irons, and they were pretty good, but they weren't crisp. So I went back, and I re and I remembered. Guess what I was doing? I wasn't turning the shoulders the whole way. I was going like here and then cheating with the hand. So the number one problem I think any good player makes when they get a bad shot 
is instead of making a full shoulder turn, they cheat and their shoulders don't turn all the way, then they make up for it with the hands and then the gears, this is an important, think of this as a circular plane. This gets out of sync with this and if you get the hips and the, and the shoulder out of sync just by a few degrees, that you'll miss hit it, okay? So that, I just took a dose of my own medicine, fixed it.